people said it would do. For Peter said on the day of Pentecost, it's for you and your children too. So open up your heart and let the wind blow in. You'll never, never be the same again. The wind that blew at Pentecost, praise God, it's blowing again. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. The wind of God is blowing through the world today, as the prophet Joel said it would do. For Peter said on the day of Pentecost, for you and your children too. So open up your heart and let the wind blow in. Never, never be the same again. For the wind that blew at Pentecost, praise God, it's blowing again. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again, just like the day of Pentecost. The wind is blowing again, just like the day of Pentecost. The wind is blowing again. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand clap of praise. Glory to God. Praise God. We are celebrating Pentecost Sunday today. Amen. Pentecost Sunday. Praise the Lord. That's a, that's a great holiday. Amen. For the Pentecostal church and for every born-again child of God. Pentecost Sunday. The, su the day we're celebrating. The day that God poured His Spirit, His glory, and His power, and His anointing upon the church of Jesus Christ. It is the coronation day. It is the day that the church was set in operation to go out into the streets and the byways and to minister the gospel. It is the moment, the time that God poured his fire and his power and his anointing upon the church, amen, to make us witnesses unto all men. Well, glory to God. Give the Lord another hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, glory. Amen. We're going to allow these young folks to, uh, to receive the BGMC offering this morning. And so if you would get out your 50s and your $100 bills, and amen, we'll take an old wadded up 22, amen. A 22. Hey. But anyway, we'll take a 20 also. How's that? Amen. Well, glory. Kids, if y'all would just go ahead and receive... Amen, you're offering this morning. Brother Roger, would you start us off in that again on verse 1? There was a crowd gathered round from all of the town that came to see what it was all about. There was a sound that came down from the upper room where the Holy Ghost was being poured out. Sounded just like the roar of a mighty wind Fell on every one of them Wind that blew at Pentecost God, it's blowing again The wind is blowing again The wind is blowing again Just like the day of Pentecost The wind is blowing again The wind of God is blowing through the world today so Prophet Joel said it would do. Peter said on the day of Pentecost, for you and your children too. So open up your heart and let the wind blow in. You'll never, never be the same again. The wind that blew at Pentecost, praise God, it's blowing again. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. 
Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing a care. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. We want to, uh, we have several announcements to make. Amen. I'm telling those two young ladies right there, they brought home the bank. I mean, <laughs> praise God. They brought home the bank. Amen. We have several announcements this morning. First of all, uh, communion and prayer tonight starting at 6 o'clock. Be sure and be here tonight. Let's seek the face of God and also remember the sacrifice and the, the debt that was paid for us at Calvary. Also, Speed the Light Father's Day silent auction has begun. I'm telling you, I walked through there the, uh, through there uh, in the fellowship hall this morning, and I mean, there's all kinds of goodies back there, guys. Hey, Amen. If you, uh, after church and uh, before church and, and all, uh, uh, nudge your wife down there in that area. You know, those, those make some good Father's Day gifts, you know. And uh, so... Uh, that will begin today, and it will uh, also it will end. The auction will end on the 19th, and all proceeds will go to Speed the Light. Uh, also, the Prime Timers Park and Lake Day is Friday, June the 10th, uh, going to Energy Park in Hot Springs to have a picnic and go fishing. And the bus will leave at 9 a.m. here at the church. There's a sign-up sheet in the back. Be sure and bring your lawn chair. And also a sack lunch, amen, big enough for you and me. <laughs> amen. Memorial uh, service for Mary Holmes uh, will be June the 15th. Uh, the visitation is at 10 a.m., and the service will be at 11. And I believe it's at Regency uh, Funeral Home. Also, Father's Day breakfast, Father's Day breakfast, Saturday. Uh, the 18th at, uh, excuse me, yeah, Father's Day the 18th at 8 a.m. Sign-up sheet is in the back. So dads, sign up. Let's come and have a, a time of fellowship on uh, Father's Day uh, breakfast. 30 minutes before that, we're going to have food distribution. So all you fathers that are going to come over here and eat, y'all can come over there and help us hand out food. Amen. And so we will be doing that at 8 a.m. Food distribution on the 18th at 8 a.m. Also, there is a high hygiene drive benefiting Hillcrest Children's Home. Uh, tubs are in the back, and there's a list of things that they need, and the deadline for that is Sunday, uh, the June, Sunday, June the 26th. Women's ministry, uh, women are of worth meeting Saturday, uh, June uh, the 25th at 10 a.m. here in the Fellowship Hall. Also, I uh, want to remind our board, we're having a board meeting this afternoon at 5 o'clock. Board meeting this afternoon at 5 o'clock. Well, glory. Busy church. Busy church. Busy for the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Th I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Amen. Go ahead. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I want to commend all of you that helped us last Sunday. We had a tremendous day, uh, just an awesome day of fellowship and ministry and a great time uh, with the uh, Eubanks family. They blessed us so, so much. and uh, We appreciate all the work. We had some, some guys and gals that just really worked and helped us get this together, and we appreciate all that you have done, and we Thank you so, so very much. Amen. And so uh, we want to just give you uh, a little thank you for that. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord. In just a moment, we're going to be as well honoring Sister Norma Cruz for all of her commitment, her work uh, here at North Malvern Assembly of God Church. We'll do that in just a moment, but uh, uh, we... Uh, want to uh, honor her and so prepare we will receive an offering to bless her with and to sow into this ministry amen as she partakes and steps out in faith going forth to do the ministry of the Lord and so we want to sow into that ministry here in, in just a moment 
But praise God. Well, glory. Would you stand? Let's invite the presence of the Lord in our service. Amen here. Gracious Father, we thank you for the privilege, oh God, to minister, Lord Jesus, in this place. And Lord, to assemble here together with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, we pray that you would help us, oh God, as we go, oh Lord, and as we, oh Lord Jesus, desire the leading and the direction of the Holy Spirit. I pray, God, the fire of Pentecost, Lord, the unction of the Spirit, Lord, the move, O oh God, of your glory would fall in this place. Lord, help us, O oh Lord Jesus. We bind every hindrance, O oh God, and every distraction, Lord, that you might be glorified in this service today as we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said amen and amen. Turn around and give everybody a big howdy wave. Amen this morning. Brother Bob, would you come today? I came to Jesus where he won and sat. He took my sins away. He took my sins away. And now his love has made my heart so glad He took my sins away He took my sins away He took my sins away And it keeps me sick every day I'm so glad He took my sins away He took my sins away more than I could bear. He took them all away. He took them all away. And now on him I roll my every care. He took my sins away. He took my sins away. He took my sins away. And it keeps me singing every day. have I in my heart He took my sins away He took my sins away His perfect peace He did to me in part He took my sins away He took my sins away He took my sins away And it keeps me singing every day I'm so glad Away. He took my sins away. If you will come to Jesus Christ today, He took your sins away. He took your sins away, and keep you happy in His love each day. He took your sins away. He took my sins away. He took my sins away. And it keeps me singing every day. I'm so glad he took my sins away. He took my sins away. I'm glad he took my sins away. I have found his grace is all complete. He supplied it. Every need, well, I sit and learn at Jesus' feet. I am free, yes, free indeed. It is joy unspeakable, it's a glory, a glory, a glory. It is joy unspeakable, it's full of glory over. Wondrous blessing, I am safe from the awful look of a sin. It is joy unspeakable, it's full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable, it's full of glory. So bright and clear, 
living in the realms of grace. Oh, the Savior's presence is so dear. I can see his smiling face. In his joy, unspeakable, his of glory. Did Jehovah's great found And lo, in the pit Where my sin dragged me down I cried to the Lord From the deep mighty flame Who did nearly brought me Out to go the day If he brought me out Of the mighty flame He set my feet On the rock to stay He put the song In my soul today a song of praise, hallelujah. He placed me up on the strong rock by his side. My steps were established, and here I'll abide. No danger of falling, while here I remain. But then by grace the telegram, I gave my turn song will do you song of praise by day and by night it's with those i will raise my heart overflowing i'm happy and free i praise my redeemer who has rescued me when he brought me out of the mighty claim he set my feet on the rock to stay he put the song song of praise, hallelujah. I'll sing of his wonder, for mercy to me. I'll praise him to all, and his goodness shall see. I'll sing of salvation, and home and abroad. Till many shall hear the truth, trust in God. He brought me out of the mind. song of praise, hallelujah. I'll tell of the pit with his gloom and despair. I'll praise the dear Father who answered my prayer. I'll sing my new song like a story of love. It's joy in the court with the same of love. If he brought me out of the mind. soul to take a song of praise hallelujah i never shall forget the day oh the burdens of my soul roll away it makes me happy glad and free i sing and shout it for he's everything to me well i never shall 
the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church. Let's worship him in the house. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. We praise you, oh God. We magnify and honor you, Lord, in this house. Oh God, for your, you are faithful, Lord Jesus. You are faithful, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, boy, God, we praise you, Lord Jesus. We'll get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. What the Lord has done for me. Oh, get joy when I think about what he's done for me. Well, when 
I think about Jesus, what is done for me. Yeah, when I think about Jesus, how set me free, I could dance, 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 dance all night, all night, all night. Me free, I could shout, 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 shout all night, all night, all night, all night, all night. All night. All night. Oh, when I think about Jesus, what is done for me? When I think about Jesus, how set me free, I could run, 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 run all night. All night. deserves our highest praise. He deserves our hallelujahs. Amen. He deserves all of the, amen, the extravagant, amen, spirit-filled worship that we can do, amen. He deserves it all. Hallelujah. Would everybody stand to your feet? Let's sing that one more time. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Come on, worship the church. Yeah, come on. The highest praise, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise His holy name. Oh, come on and give the Lord the highest praise, hallelujah. our soul. He's the one who made us brand new, filled us with that sweet Holy Ghost. Oh, listen, church, I want you to know that the embers of Pentecost are still burning today. They're still burning today. Hey, man, if you have a need, if you have a situation in your life, well, hey, man, what you need to do is, hey, man, get on your knees and fan the flame. Amen. Stir up those embers. Amen. Rekindle the fire of God in your heart and in your life. Just go ahead and give Him a, amen, a praise, a shout of glory in the middle of your storm, in the middle of your circumstance, in the middle of your situation. Just go ahead and do a little praise dance. Amen. In his glory and His power. Hallelujah. Because He's faithful and pinnacle. 
Pentecost is real and the Holy Ghost is here this morning. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. This is a Pentecostal church, okay? Amen. To this world, we're crazy, all right? Amen. To this world, we're crazy, but this is the Pentecostal church. Amen. But this is what I feel what the Lord is saying right now. If you're going through a storm, amen, in your family, in your job, or whatever it is, amen, in your life, if you're going through a storm, just step out in the aisle, amen. Just step out in the aisle and begin to praise Him. Come on. Amen. I know there's some needs in this place. I know there's some situations. Just step out in the aisle. Move from where you are, and let's just magnify and glorify the Lord. He's the one who brought you out. And he brought you out to bring you into his glory. He brought you out of this world to bring you into the power of the Spirit of God and the anointing and the glory of his presence. Hallelujah. As you step out, you are exhibiting your faith in a God that's greater than your situation, in a God that's above everything that is hindering your life. Glory to God. It's a step of faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on and kill the Lord, the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and kill the Lord, the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and kill the Lord, the highest praise. Hallelujah. still behind your chairs. I want you to find someone now and lay hands on them and pray the prayer of faith. Come on, step out. Amen. God's going to use you. Amen. He's going to use you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Somebody pray for Carol right here. Amen. Come on. Step out and find somebody. Amen. Somebody needs to pray for Janet back there. Amen. Brenda, somebody. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Find somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister April. Sister April, amen, amen, glory to God, glory to God, amen, come on, amen, come on, hallelujah, praise God, God's moving church, God's moving, 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 hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and kill the Lord, the highest praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and kill the Lord, the highest praise.
Worship him a moment, church. Worship him. He's in this place.
Give it to God right now, church. Give it to God. Give your worries to God. Give your fears to God. Hallelujah. He desires, amen, to move on your situation. He's waiting for you to give it to Him. Hallelujah. He's, amen, faithful. He's our burden bearer. Amen. He's the one who, amen, wipes the tears from our eyes. He's the one, amen, that brings peace and joy. Hallelujah. In such a time as this. Give your situation and your burden to God right now. Amen. I want you to lift your hands right now and just begin, amen, to give the Lord, amen, all of your concerns right now. Give them to Him, Lord, right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I give you my family. Lord, I give you, oh God, my family. I give you, oh God, this church. I give you this community, oh God. I, Lord, I hand this situation of the United States into your hands right now. Lord, I give you, oh Lord Jesus, these last days, oh God. And Lord, our hearts have been heavy because of the things of the world and because of the attack of the enemy. But Lord, I feel in my spirit that you're saying, I'm greater than it all. I'm greater than it all. Just give it to me and I'll make a way where there seemed to be no way. I'll make rivers, amen, in the valley. I'll bring forth glory, hallelujah, in the desert places. I'll open an effectual door. I will bring you out, amen, because I prepared a place for you. I prepared, amen, a ministry for you. I prepared, amen, a place for you. And I'm bringing you out to bring you into that glory. I'm bringing you out to bring you into to that fresh anointing that new dispensation of end time power hallelujah oh church listen God is moving he's moving he's moving don't be one that's sitting on the sideline but be like that player amen that couldn't get enough and was always there at the coach saying coach send me in send me in coach I want to go in I'm ready to go in I desire to go in oh, Oh, listen, church, get off the bench, amen. Get off the sideline because our coach, Jesus Christ, our coach, God the Father, is saying, get in there, boy. Get in there, girl, and do the work that I've called you to do. I've anointed you for this time and for this day. Oh, that light affliction that has been upon you, that light thing that the enemy has tried to bring in your life to hinder you. Oh, listen, it is just a a hair compared amen to what I'm about to do in your life hallelujah give it praise church give it praise Jesus, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, precious Lamb of God, precious Lamb of God. Oh, Lord, we want you. We want you, not our agenda, not our way, but we want you. We want you. Oh, God, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I praise you. I glorify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's do send your rain. Send your rain. Hallelujah. Worship him, church. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. We need the rain of his spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, hallelujah. <clears throat> Send your rain, oh, Lord. Send your rain, oh, Lord. Send your rain, oh, Lord, to your 
to worship church. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Whoa! 
just keep it light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, turning lives around. He's turning us around. Hallelujah. He's making, hey man, the crooked path straight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. His Spirit, His presence, His glory is in this place. The Word of God says that He so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. He sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might have life and life more abundantly. Oh, He's the one who makes all things new. He's the one who turns our lives around. He's the one, glory to God, that brings us out of darkness into His marvelous light. He's the one that brings us out and puts us on a street called straight. He's the one, hallelujah, that brings peace in the midst of the storm and brings calm, hallelujah, to the raging sea. He's the one, amen, glory, that wipes away the sin and the past, amen, and makes us brand new in Christ Jesus. He's the one who said that we now are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We are now heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, listen, saints of God, Amen. He's faithful. He's not a respecter of person. What he's done for one, he will do for another. Amen. He saved me, so I know that he'll save you. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. Well, I know he'll fill you with that sweet Holy Ghost. He's healed my body from time to time. Hallelujah. Time and time again. He's healed me of cancer. He's healed me of tumors. He's healed me of all these things. Hallelujah. So I know that he's still is a God of healing. He's delivered me from my past. He will deliver you from your past. If you're here this morning, would you come and allow us to pray with you? I feel the atmosphere of faith. I feel 
the atmosphere of faith in this house. The water is troubled. God is here and he's saying, wilt thou be made whole? Wilt thou be made whole? Hallelujah. Do, amen. Would you come and receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? You may be here and you've known him for years, amen, but it seems like the heavens are shut up. It seems like that your prayers are not getting anywhere. Amen. That you feel burden in your life. Would you come this morning and allow us to pray with you? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Every group miracle work. Promise. Hallelujah. Light in the dark. Hallelujah. Death, Hallelujah. God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you, Lord, I worship you. You are here, mending every heart. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never. 
never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Oh, that is who you are. 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 Is who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. so used to coming to church having three songs and a message and going home nobody ever gets excited about the Lord, nobody ever does anything, but he said I came here this morning to move in your midst and to show you that I'm still here and that I want to be here every Sunday, I want to be here every Wednesday I want to be your God I want you to serve me this is what I meant by doing your first works over. Go back to the old time religion and start over again. Lord, praise God. Hallelujah. Before Sister Pat came up and told me that, amen, this is what I just kept hearing. I just kept hearing this is the new norm. This is the new norm. This is the new norm. Listen. We've had normal church too long. We need the new norm. We need the new norm. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Sister, I want to hear your song this morning. Amen. Y'all can be seated if y'all want to, but I want to hear Jeanette's song this morning. After this song, we will, amen, receive an offering for Sister. Amen. For Sister. Test it. Test it. Jerusalem was a shaking. Pentecost had arrived in an upper room chamber. Well, they were drunk on the new wine. Peter stood among them and he said, There is no doubt that Holy Ghost and fire, it'll make you dance and shout. It's just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in my bones, it just like fire. Shut up in my bones, Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in my bones. Filled with the Spirit, he was born to prophesy. The prophet Jeremiah would lift his voice and cry. Be quiet, the folks commanded. Go home and leave us alone. But how can you be quiet when there's fire down in your bones? It's just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in my bones. It's just like fire. 
shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire, shut up in my bones. Some people may get offended because I dance and shout. They say it's too much emotion and there's too much moving about. Ah, but don't tell me to be quiet and go sit down in my pew. Because if you felt what I felt, you'd be shouting to it just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in my bones. It just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in my bones. Well, some people may get offended because I dance and shout. Ha! They say it's too much emotion and there's too much moving about. Ha! But don't tell me to be quiet and go sit down in my pew. Because if, if you, you felt, felt what I felt, felt, you'd be shouting to it just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in my bones. It just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in my bones. It just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in my bones. It just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, shut up in my bones. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, give him a big hand clap of praise now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Amen, that just makes me glad that I'm in a Pentecostal church, aren't you? Amen. I makes me glad. Well, glory to God. You may be seated this morning. Amen. Choir, if y'all would be seated. Amen. We want to pay honor where honor is due. Amen. We have a, a young lady that has blessed this church for the last, how many years, Norma? Seven? Seven years. The last seven years and I'm telling you, God sent her to us, amen, to bless us. And she has, I'm telling you, she has pour, poured her heart and, and life into these ministries that she has done in their church. And, and I'm telling you, we appreciate her so, so very much. I tell you, Sister Norma uh, has been a blessing to me from, since 1994, amen, when we uh, came to Malvern the first in the ministry of music, and uh, we have worked together for on and off for all those years, and we have always had a great relationship, and she's always been uh, humble and submissive to uh, direction, and we just appreciate it. I know it's, uh, it's a sad occasion for us. Amen. It is a sad occasion for us. But then on the other hand, we are not... In other words, we're sowing her into the ministry. We are sowing her. And how many knows when you sow something, you reap a harvest? When you sow something, you reap a harvest. And so, glory to God, we're going to sow her into the ministry. Sister Norma, would you come? And I want you to uh, greet the people. Amen. Here this evening. It is, it's bittersweet, uh, but I'm so thankful that God has placed me here for the time that I've been here. And as they were praying this morning, the scripture came to my thinking when Jesus went by to see Mary and Martha. This is, I think it's in Luke chapter 10 probably is where that's found. And that chapter starts out with the harvest. Don't say there's four months and then comes the harvest. Harvest is, it's ripe. 
get ready. And then he goes on down and tells the story about the Good Samaritan, about how the Good Samaritan gave. And he, he gave above and beyond. It was that lesson on giving and, and uh, not passing him by, not being religious. And then he goes to visit Mary and Martha. And I love what he said because Martha was cumbered about, King James says. And as Martha came to Jesus and she's wanting him to kind of speak out for her. I'm, I'm doing all this. Are you not going to? And Mary's sitting at his feet. And I love what Jesus said. He said, there's only one thing. There's only one thing that's needed. That one thing is still needed today. Yeah. That we sit at the feet of Jesus. Yeah. That we get at the feet of Jesus and we hear what Jesus has to say because that's what's going to bring the glory down every time is when we each individually sit at the feet of Jesus and we hear what Jesus is saying. That'll take all the arguments out. That'll take all the confusion out. That'll take all the doctrine out and all the denominationalism out, all the racism out. And when we sit at the feet of Jesus, because when we sit at the feet of Jesus, that's when we get up and we're in one accord looking for the same thing and that's when the day of Pentecost was fully come it's when they were in one accord that didn't mean that I might not agree with you or you or you but we were in the same accord we were going the same direction after the same thing and that's what God wants us to go after and honey if you'll go after what God wants you won't have no problems he'll take care of them all I'm excited about what God's doing right here. I'm not leaving you because of what's happening or not happening. I'm leaving because God has given me a mandate, and I'm going to just take it on. But God is moving right here in this place. You sit at the feet of Jesus. That's the only thing. One, one translation even says there's only one thing worth worrying over, sitting at the feet of Jesus. So if you'll sit at the feet of Jesus, God's going to pour it out. And we only come in this building to get what we need to take back out there. But your ministry is not in here, it's out there. You take Jesus, after you have sat at the feet of Jesus, you take Jesus out there. That's what the world's looking for. I love you. I'll miss you, but I'll be back. Time to talk. Praise the Lord. Sister, um, praise the Lord. Yeah, stand if you would, because we're going to pray for Sister Norma. Amen. But I was, a few weeks ago, I was back in the fellowship hall on Wednesday night, and I passed through, and I always uh, tell her, I said, give them the heaven, you know, or all that. And so we share notes and all that. And uh, she said, Pastor, I want you to be praying about something. I said, okay, what is it? She said, I want you to begin to pray about being willing to send me out. About being willing to send me out. And so I, I, I kind of grinned, and I, I looked at her, and I said, Sis, I've known it for two months. I've already known it for two months. Brenda and I had been talking about it, and and I felt in my spirit, I could see how that God's anointing was just just growing, growing, leaps and bounds in Norma's life. And doors were opening everywhere. And God was just sending her and blessing her. And she was being a blessing everywhere she went. And I told Brenda, I said, it's not going to be long. God's fixing to open an effectual door for Norma. And Norma's going to go and step out into the ministry. I feel that. Amen. So, amen. So, Pastor uh, Roger, would you come? We're going to pray. Amen. If you would all lift your hands in this direction. Amen. We're going to send her out with the blessing of this church, with the blessing of this ministry. Amen. Send her out to do the work of the Lord. Amen. Gracious Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray God the Shekinah glory upon this life. Lord, that she's never sensed, oh God. Lord Jesus, she has spent her time and she's got her instructions around the burning bush. But now, Lord, as she steps forth in obedience as Moses did, Lord Jesus, the next time, 
Lord, she encounters you. It will not be just a bush on fire, but it will be a mountain on fire. The glory of God, Lord, the glory and the power of the Spirit, O oh God. Minister, Lord Jesus, to her, Lord, and lead her and direct her all the days of her life. Lord, her eyes and her ears are open to your will and to your way. Lord, her desire is to sit at your feet and to hear your instruction and to go forth and to be your vessel. Lord, to be your voice, your hands, your feet, O oh God. And Lord, we, O oh Lord, at North Malvern Assembly of God Church, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for honoring her faithfulness for honoring her oh God with this call and so Lord right now in the name of Jesus Lord we send her out into this lost and dying world we send her out to do the work hallelujah that you oh God have birthed in her heart Lord Jesus it's all about the kingdom it's not about my church their church or somebody else's church it's about the kingdom of God so Lord we pray Lord that you would use her mightily in these coming days oh God and Lord as we oh Lord Jesus hear Lord of the great testimonies that you're doing in her life Lord Jesus we're going to shout we're going to rejoice because we know that we have a portion of this we have a portion of this and so Lord we give you honor and we give you praise in Jesus mighty name amen and amen hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise God. Give the Lord a big hand clap of praise. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. You may be seated. Lots of, lots of ups and downs in a Pentecostal church. Amen. We want to ask our ushers to prepare to receive an offering. We want to sow into this ministry not only in our prayers and in our devotion and and the time that we spent, but we also want to sow our monetarily into this ministry. And uh, uh, like I said, amen, when you sow a seed, you expect a return. And so we're going to sow a seed into this ministry. And when we do, everything that she accomplishes in her ministry, we're going to receive a portion of that. Amen. As we help in this ministry. Amen. Gracious Father, we pray. Lord, that you would bless every heart and every life. Lord, that you would minister, oh God, and speak, oh Lord, to their hearts and lives right now.